everybody, this is Tanya Ortiz, creator of the Facebook group Create Your Own Economy Today, as well as the website slash forum www.createyourowneconomytoday.com. So, uh, I'm going to spend two minutes just going over about penny shopping, the do's and don'ts um, of what to do while you're in a store, the do's and don'ts of what, you, what you're to do while you're in a Facebook group. Now, if you go to our Facebook group, it's create your own economy today. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is read the pin post. Where's the pin post? Go to the very top of the page. So I don't care if you're on your phone or if you're on a computer. I need you to go to the top of the page and read the pin post. After you read the pin post, um, I want you, we have a rules section. I want you to find the rules and read all the rules. If you cannot find the rules, ask someone to tag you in the rules, okay? Read all the rules. And third, put your name on the list to get a buddy. It's very, very important if you're brand new. So you're not asking a thousand and one, is this a penny? Is this a penny? Did the unicorn penny out yet? You know, um, you, you just get a buddy. And then you can be in a store and you can take pictures. Now, this is what you're not allowed to do in our group. You cannot walk in on Tuesday morning, get your camera out, your cell phone out, and just start randomly taking pictures. Is this a penny? Is this a penny? Is this a penny? You know why? Because then you'll find yourself in a land of banishment. All right? Land of banishment means we kick you out. You cannot return. That is a huge no-no. You cannot take pictures of items that are not pennied or heavily discounted. They're not on a list. You're not allowed to take pictures. You may ask questions. However, you cannot ask questions with pictures okay you may not ask questions if you just came into the group i want you to spend a couple of days at least researching okay if you just walk in and day one you ask what's a penny can somebody hand you the penny list and i've seen you haven't done any research again you'll end up in the land of banishment we don't do this to be mean people we have seven thousand uh, people in the group we're constantly growing and we just do this so um it's just a lot better for everyone. All right. So that is the Facebook rules. So you guys know tomorrow. Um, and also, if you see anybody, people that are posting pictures randomly in a store, asking questions, tag it. How do you tag it? At the top of every post, you'll see a little, it's like a little drop down button. It's a little V. Click on that and I'll say report. Report it to me so I can see, see it. Okay. Or tag an admin and ask them to delete the picture. All right. So if you see any, random pictures now if you're posting pictures uh i'm gonna tell you what the list is and i'm doing this relatively early and here's the reason this is a long list of food items i'd greatly appreciate if you guys take the list after i do the video heather's gonna put the list up i'd appreciate if you guys take the list tonight usually i say don't post pictures in a store but if you can match up the upc codes to the items in the store and you must be 100 percent correct do not match up upcs you know pictures that don't match up or you'll be in a land of banishment uh we only want correct information given so hypothetically let's just say this is the unicorn that everybody's looking for and the unicorn is upc code let me just randomly think of one four one five eight three two 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 right um, I want you, if it's on the list it and, and you take a picture and post it underneath this video, then it should match up with the unicorn, the UPC. All right. So enough of unicorns. They're like, Tanya, get to it. How does penny shopping work? This is what you're not going to do. You're not going to pick up the phone and say, hey, um, do you have penny items on sale? No, because here again, here's the unicorn. It's sitting on the shelf. Me, the penny shopper comes in. Now, this unicorn is supposed to be either in the trash or or in the trash because they say they give it to charity but nine times out of ten it's in the trash so it's supposed to be in the trash but the employee for whatever crazy reason just left the unicorn sitting on the shelf i come in the penny shopper and i say oh there's the unicorn i put it in my cart if there's a hundred unicorns and if i think they're a penny because the upc is matched up to what i'm about to read then you need to put all 100 unicorns in your cart don't think you're going to drop one unicorn in 
and then say, hmm, I'll just see if this is a penny, and if it is, I'll go back and get the rest. No, the policy states they have to sell you what's in your cart. However, if it's a penny item, you may not run back and get the rest. It's not how it works. So, let's just say you thought the unicorns were a penny, but really they're full price. And you put a hundred of these in your basket, and they scan it, beep, and they say, uh, Tanya, the unicorn is $9.99. You're like, oh my God, I didn't want to pay $9.99. I thought it was a penny. Just kindly say, I'm sorry, I thought it was in sale. I'll go ahead and put it back. And then, you know, do the polite thing and go put all your 100 unicorns back on the shelf. All right? So we got that. You're going to be polite if it rings up full price. Don't argue with them. If, again, if you know the unicorn is on his list and it's a penny and it beep, Full price. Do not sit there and say, I know Tanya read the list. I got the list right here. And it's a pity. You better give it to me. Blah, 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 blah. No. Don't do that. There's too many stores. Many of you will shop at one or two stores and get frustrated. I want you. There's an app. A Dollar General app. Download it on your phone. It's for free. It'll show you the whole map of all the Dollar Generals. Not only in your area, but all over the whole United States. Go to more than one. Don't let... Just one bad experience get to you. You know, just keep it moving. Just go to another one. If you had a bad experience, buy something really cheap. If you haven't bought anything, buy a candy bar. Or if they won't sell you the penny items. And just do the survey. Corporate sees the surveys within a couple of days. And the district manager uh, does do conference calls with the managers regarding the survey. So good experience. Spread the love. Do the survey. Bad experience. Do the survey. All right. We're not going to call corporate. Corporate does not want 3,000 phone calls. If you guys want to continue penny shopping, um, we discourage calling corporate. Just do the survey. All right. So let's get to what pity's out. What pity's out? Because the guy says we got a lot more food. So there's still a way to create your economy. A lot of y'all could get this, have it for your family, or you could just get the stuff and turn around and sell it. Here we go. And again, you don't have to write all these UPCs because Heather will list it under the video. All right, we have George and Tom ice cream cake cups, 18 count. Uh, we have hers pizza cheese curl, 7 ounce. That's H-E-R-R-S. Hers Texas Pete's chips, 7.5 ounce. Again, there's 14 UPCs. I'm not going to read all this. You guys will get the list in our group. If you haven't joined a group, you should. Jiffy Pop Popcorn, 4.5 ounces. We have Freezer Pops, Baskin Robbins Freezer Bars, Sherbert, 12 count. Flavor Ice Fusion Bars, 12 count. Fun Pops Freezer Bars, 24 pack. Fun Pops Freezer Bars, 24 pack. I already said that. Hawaiian Punch Freezer Bars, 10 ounces. Icy Freezer Bars, 10 ounces. Jolly Rancher Freezer Bars, 10 count. Lemonhead Freezer Bars, 10 ounces. Margaritaville Freezer Bars, 27 ounces. Mondo Freezer Bars, 20 count. Pop Ice, uh, 100 count. Pipe, Pop Ice Tropical, 100 count. Slush Puppy Freezer Bars, 10 count. Good Lord. Slush Puppy Freezer Pouch, Blue Raspberry, 8 ounces. Slush Puppy Freezer Pouch, Cherry, 8 ounces. Soda Pop Freezer Bars, 10 ounces. Tampico Freezer Pops Regular 8 Count, Weiler's Italian Ice 6 Count, Weiler's Italian Ice Berry and Cherry 6 Count, Tampico Freezer Pops Regular 8 Count, Gum, Big League Baseball Gum, uh, and we'll give the UPC, I'm not reading all these UPCs, we have some miscellaneous food items, and it is Kraft Barbecue Hickory Smoke 17.5 ounces, Kraft Mayo Mini, Five ounces. Kraft Miracle Whip, five ounces. Kraft Velveeta Cheesy Ranch, 15.8 ounces. Smucker's Ice Cream. Caramel Topper, 20 ounces. I know I'm reading this through quickly, but trust me, people, we will post this list underneath this video in our Facebook group as well as the forum. All right. Capri Sun Berry Melon Single Pouch, 11.2 ounces. Uh, we have a lot of Capri Suns. I'm not going to read all this. Go to the list in the group. We have Trust Crush to Go Pineapple, six pound pack. Jolly Rancher Drink Sticks Cherry, 3.96 ounces. This is a lot of stuff. Kool-Aid Burst Aid Berry Blue Pack, 6 pack, 6.75 ounces. Hawaiian Punch uh, Sticks Berry Bonkers 8 pack, whatever that is. All right, and how much more? Oh, my goodness. We got a lot 
more to go. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to fast through all this. We're going to help each other out tonight, not tomorrow, okay? We're going to help everybody out tonight. There, I, I probably didn't read like 15 more items because it was like Mott's Juice, Drink, Fruit Punch. It's just a lot of food. I'm not going to read all that. And I did say Red Dot should be 90% off, so make sure you get the Red Dot stuff. Um, Because that Cousin Gus, you know, told me to make sure I wrote my notes right here. Cousin Gus says, make sure you say this. So I said it, Cousin Gus. Um, but I want you guys to help each other out tonight. All right, so I'll post this video. You'll probably get it around 8 o'clock or before 8 o'clock. You'll print out the list. Screenshot the list on your phone if you can't print it out. Walk into the store tonight. Match up the UPCs. Get your cell phone out. As long as the UPCs match, take a picture. Do not take a picture of what you think if it does not match up. Because that won't be cool. Because you don't want to be in a land of banishment for taking a wrong picture. All right? So I'm asking you only to take pictures of stuff that match up. So Heather's going to post a list under this video. I want you to walk into the store, screenshot the list, match up the UPCs. You guys cannot mess this up because you're going to mess the UPCs up. Take a picture and then post it underneath this video in the group. That way, tomorrow, if we do this as a village and we all work together tomorrow at 8 o'clock, when you guys walk into the stores, so I just scroll through your phone and make sure you have screenshots because guess what? Your Wi-Fi will not work into the Dollar General. Don't think you'll take your phone. They block the Wi-Fi at the majority of the Dollar Generals. So you need to take screenshots tonight for tomorrow morning. So let's work as a village. Let's all help each other out. Now I say this at the end of every single video. I work from home. I don't have a 9 to 5. You guys need to, if you're struggling to make some money, put yourself in a good position for 2015. Sign up for the training of how to make money with Amazon and eBay. That's what I do full time. How? Go to www.todaygetpaid.com. Again, www.todaygetpaid.com. Let 2015 be the year that financially you'll be in a better position. If you like this video, I'm going to ask that you share it. Share it on Facebook, share it on YouTube, share it on Pinterest, and share it on Twitter. Take care. God bless and happy shopping tomorrow. And don't forget to look for those crazy unicorns. Bye-bye.